With the gas prices soaring up this 2022, is there still a home for sale in Cebu that is considered low cost? How much would an affordable home be in the real estate market today, home seekers? Is there a million pesos or less? Last month, we had a site tour of affordable rent-to-own units, and one of them is low-cost walk-up condos. Hello neighbors, home seekers, wondering which type of property should you choose for your real estate investment in Cebu? Then in this quick property review, we'll talk about the different types of condo around the neighborhood this 2022. Which type is for you? Hit subscribe to find out. In our previous video, we talked about residential condos as the type of apartments in the city which you can own. Towering residential condos in a prime location are designed to evoke a sense of pride for developers and a privilege for unit owners. In a highly populated urban area, mid to high-rise residential buildings aim to maximize the lot area as well as accommodate more residents. However, one common concern among residents living in tall, high-density condos are the elevators. Although the ratio between the number of occupants and elevators is also considered by the designers, with a large number of occupants in a building, there will be times when you'll encounter a queue of passengers using the lift. Whether you're a Filipino or foreigner who prefer the condo space but wouldn't like to live in a busy environment, courtyard or walk-up condos offer similar features like accessibility and affordability in a low-density neighborhood. As per the building code, low-rise buildings like a four-story condo doesn't require an elevator. So if you'd rather walk up or down the building, you may take the ergonomic stairway in the courtyard condo to exercise while going to your unit. Yes, that's why it's named a walk-up condo, home seekers. No elevators and simpler plumbing lines and electrical lines lessen the building construction and maintenance cost which also makes these low-rise condos more affordable compared to taller condos. Similar function as an apartment, you can have your space rented while you're out of town, just like this unit on Airbnb. Does a walk-up condo work better for you? How much could it be, home seekers? Usually for mid to high-rise condo in the urban center, the higher the floor level, the pricier the unit can be. One reason is the view it shows. Wouldn't it be better to see the mountain, sea, or city view than a blank wall? Whereas, with a walk-up condo design like these in Cebu and Lapu-Lapu City, the cheapest units are on the fourth floor. You get to enjoy living with a view as long as you don't mind walking up and down the stairs. If you prefer to save time and energy going to your unit, the ground floor gets the premium price for immediate accessibility. Another factor that makes walk-up condo cheaper is the location. Since most walk-up condos are located near the suburban parts of the city, their property value is also distant from the condos in the central business district. Even then, these are still accessible through public transportation. For this fully furnished loft near the mountain, it is about a million regardless of unit floor level. Other walk-up condos has a similar price range but varies in acquisition schemes. Home seekers, which walk-up condo would you like to see? Thank you so much, home seekers. See you next time.